Hey, Steve Mignone here for Acid Auctioneer's Great Texas Mopar Hoard Auction event. And here we have a very cool piece. It's a 1966 Coronet 440 two-door hardtop, original paint, 383 four-barrel magnum, uh, four-barrel emblems on the front, fenders, body-colored 14-inch steel wheels, the correct stuff. And let's take a peek and see if that 383 is still there under the hood. And yeah, there it is with the unsilenced air cleaner. This guy right here, no snorkel, no, uh, no silencing, kind of nice. There's the AFB, probably the original and correct four barrel for it. Factory air conditioning, that's a 325 horsepower, 383. Manual drum brakes right there, power steering, and the 26 inch wide heavy duty radiator, 046. Pretty rare piece, also used on Hemi cars in 1966. Okay, no windshield, so, you know, it's, it's a solid, solid car. Um, bench seat interior, console, or sorry, a column automatic. But something I do here, I see here, I have to point out, the door gap is narrow at the bottom, wide at the top. And it's the same way on the other side. I think it's possible this car might have had an off-road excursion and had a slight unibody tweak can be fixed. And the reason I say that is because this car is so rust free. The rear quarters are pristine and mint. Look at that. There's no holes. The magnet sticks. A little bit of a dent. So, I mean, this is a rust free car. I dare say that those gaps in the doors and the unibody tweak, you could probably pull that out. Um, so it's not a parts car. This is probably a good project car. Or if you did need it for parts, there's a lot of rust free sheet metal on it. Inside the trunk, lots of loose parts. Here's the dog dish hubcaps that were part of the Coronet 440 base package. And uh, gas tank is here, bench seat, original trunk floor, no rot. And we'll take one final peek at the door gap on this side here. And yeah, if you take a peek, the door does open on this side. The other side does not open. But uh, nice original, you know, everything's inside pretty look, looking pretty good. But when I close the door, we will see what I'm talking about with the gap gets narrower to the bottom. So this car may have had some kind of a uh, off-road excursion. I don't see buckles in the roof, but uh, you know, it's, it's a solid project car.